So at Big A Studios, what we try to do is we train our second shooters. So it's not like we're just hiring anyone. Um, and not that we don't believe in anyone, but we also have a style and the way we choose to approach um, our work. So a lot of our second shooters over the years have been alumni of the Follow the Light um, class. You understand? And, and you have to be able to trust your team. And a lot of the trust that you have in your team is based on how much you have put in them. So over, over the years, we've continued to adopt this mentality of the team has to grow on the same frequency as you. So right now, we have one of our team members photographing the brand, and we're not worried about it because, I mean, he's an absolute genius. He knows his work. He's an artist. So let me introduce you guys to Jesse. So this is Mr. Jesse. Jesse, say hi. Jesse, I told them that you're photographing the bride, but it seems like you're, you're shooting through a window. I mean, a mirror. <laughs> through the mirror. Yes. Mad up. That's some creative stuff. I can't wait to see it. Hello, Bridie. Hi. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, that is Jesse. I will take you guys to the rest of the team. Oh, that's Mr. Austin. Looking or photographing the bride from a different perspective. And for you to have really good work, you need to also depend on um, other photographers that are coming up. As they're coming up, they will typically start as um, light engineers and people that handle our lights. So this is Mr. Giver, this is Ebuka, and this is Victor. They are all photographers, by the way, but today they're going to be assisting us with um, our light. To enjoy your wedding photography, you have to depend and learn to trust your team.